Hi everyone, this is Erin from Sandpaper Road and welcome to another edition of Use What You Have Scrapbooking Edition. Today I am focusing on what you can do with big paper that has like a big image in one corner or in one side. And I believe that several years ago when I first started my YouTube channel, this was one of the first types of videos I did. So I just thought I'd do a little updated version, um, especially if you're new to the channel. And so I'm just gonna show you a very, very simple technique. This is gonna be a short video, and uh, you won't believe how easy this is, and you will it'll bring new life to all of your paper that you've already had in your stash for a long time. Hopefully getting you excited about using your paper hoard and making some actual projects. I have two different styles of paper here. This one is just from my craft stash. And um, as I'm working on my kids' albums, I thought this would be good for prom night, uh, homecoming, whatever. Now what to do? Um, you know, if you're struggling with, you know, is the picture gonna go here? Is the picture, you know, you might have a bunch of pictures and just be forced to put them up here because uh, you don't wanna get into or cover up this area down here. Well, actually, you gotta remember you're working with paper. This is all just paper. You can use the entire sheet of paper. You're not restricted to it just because it has a design on it. So let's open this up. Let's open this up and make pictures fit, okay? Um, what I'm gonna do is just cut, and you could do this however you want you know what, what you could do is cut right with my X-Acto knife and you could cut right here and make a little slit and then you can fit a big picture right in there. Um, you may have seen that before. And of course you don't wanna cut clear to the end or you're gonna have a piece that's missing. You're gonna cut it all off. But what you could also do is be a little bit more adventurous. And I just, I literally, this was not the plan. I literally just thought of this just a second because my original plan was just to show you to cut like that. You just, like, if I was doing it, I would start here, cut around, and then stop probably about right there. And then what you'd have is you'd have a little, basically you'd be creating a pocket, like an opening. And then when you adhere it, you'd put the adhesive just along the the edge and you wouldn't you wouldn't adhere the pocket down, otherwise you'd never be able to slide in. But I, I thought to myself just this second, and I promise you I'm not lying, um, I think what I'm gonna do is be a little bit more adventurous and just cut it in a unique way. This is kind of a unique design. I've got a craft mat, um, a self-healing craft mat that uh, I've had forever. And I am uh, going to actually cut in here. And I'm gonna do the same thing that I said that I was gonna do for the other, but I'm gonna do it in sort of a, uh, a different, I'm gonna do it here instead. Now look, you can't even tell that I cut. That's why this technique is, is pretty cool to use. And then I'm gonna go like this here, okay? Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. And now you you can pop it up, you can see, do you need to, um, I need to just tap that just a bit more. Don't rip it, because you'll see that. There, there, look at that. Now watch this. Here's a photo, a pretend photo, right? See, now you can slide it right in there like that. That looks so cool. Yeah, you think, oh, but you're covering up part of the photo. Well, then don't slide it down so far. And maybe, see this is good for, instead of trying, you know how you have something in the photo that you wanna like blur out, or you, instead of cropping the photo, like what if it's, what if this is your prom picture, right? And there's like a cat or a piece of, I don't know, something in the driveway, something that you just didn't want in the picture. This is a great way to cover that up, see? Or you can use this, especially if there's like something right here, then you could go like this. Look, it just nestles it right in there. Neat, huh? Yeah, that's pretty cool. Of course, you can go higher or lower, whatever. And same thing if I would have cut this out, but I like that I did that because look, see, now I can have this photo right here. That's exactly how I would do it, see? And then I still have room for, um, let's see, I could put, 
I could put another one up here like this. And then if I had a smaller one, you know, like this, I could go like, like that. Ooh, I could actually do two that, like that size, you know, or something. Ooh, that looks kind of good. Or like this, whatever, right? Neat. Okay, next. That's pretty easy because on paper like this, I mean, you almost have a guideline to follow. But a lot of our paper, realistically, um, that we're thinking about when we're thinking about this problem is paper that has like a design or something. And it's the same concept you can do and it, it just takes a little bit of practice. Remember that when you're doing it, you're not trying to trace an image. So it just depends. Let's figure this out because I don't want to do any unnecessary cutting. Where do I want a picture to go and what kind? Probably I would want a picture to go right here in my mind, right? Let's say, or maybe I keep pulling this one and it's got a funny stampy thing on the one side. Maybe I want the picture to go right here because then I could put another one up top like that. See? Yeah, that seems like that seems like how I, how I would want the pictures to look on the page because then I can always do embellishments or journaling or a, or a third photo right there, okay? So with that being said, now look what has to happen. Now see, I'm only to here, and as a matter of fact, let me get a piece of uh, washi tape. So now I know that I, I don't need to cut, I don't need to cut really past here, do I? Okay? And I don't need to cut, come on. I don't need to cut past where? Well, I guess here, okay? So there's my borders. So now all of this I'm going to be cutting out. Now, am I gonna trace around? Then you have to decide, am I gonna trace around all these leaves here? What do I want to be in front? So you're gonna to have to think of some, some planning ahead of time or you're gonna do a lot of unnecessary cutting, all right? Might want, I don't know. I mean, I know what I personally would want, but uh, you know, I could pull out these branches. I don't mind doing this kind of detail work. So let's see. But we'll start with the basics so that you can get the idea. We can always cut the film uh, so you don't have to watch me uh, exacto knife paper for the whole video, okay? And I'm pushing hard enough, but not, not, uh, not too much here. Okay. There we go. Good. I'm also trying to see as I go, yeah, that's real good. Now see how this is coming along so far. And it'll, so it'll look like this. You see? It also seems that I have to go, I see. If I want this to show like the, oh no, this is fine. See, look. See? I was about to say, like this, yeah. Oh, this will be perfect. Now look, when I tuck this underneath, like so, <laughs> and then when I tuck this underneath, like so, yep. And because I have that washi tape, I could line that up like that. And there we go. And I can go as far in, look, as I want or out. It really doesn't make a bit of a difference. I can come way out here. I can change it. I can go like this and just have one down here. See? Yes, I know you're covering up part of the picture. Yes, but you can also go like this. Like 
and then like like this it really doesn't make a difference it's what like whatever you want and guess what if you don't want to use it at all if you've cut it and you're like yeah I don't really want to use it nobody will know with the exception of that hole but if that's the case if I just decide not to use it I would just push it down you can always see I could just put the piece back in nobody knows but you can put in um even like a like a journaling card or something in there if you want or some ephemera uh so yeah look yeah you'd never know or you could do it neat huh so this was just a little quick video just demonstrating how to make more of your stash don't be discouraged or intimidated by paper that has something on one side. See, look, that is so cool. You could build, as a matter of fact, this paper collection, which I love, has like all these elements. Um, let me reach them here. All these elements. It's got like um, just things you can cut out, you know, that come with it. And so, well, that you can buy them separate. Look at that. And inside, flowers, pumpkins. I've got chipboard uh, dies that coordinate with it. It's cool. I could like build up this whole like cluster here. Put my title, my scrapbook title, like right here. Ooh, no. No, my other picture. Imagine that it's the same size. Yeah, right there. Yeah, cool. Very dark and ominous. Yeah, this is the ominous marshes. Okay. You can check it out in the shop if you're interested. But um, yeah, so hopefully you enjoyed. Where's my other page? Yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this uh, quick video, quick tip, use what you have. What I should do is uh, make these scrapbook pages and then show you the end result, shouldn't I? All right, let me talk you through here uh, how I finished up this layout. <laughs> Try not to touch it too much, right? I love that, actually. I You missed sort of the operation that I had to do a minute ago. Um, this is fantastic. I love it. Now you'll notice that the color choice of this paper here is coming from the tie. Okay. And also the tint of the sunglasses. All right. So we're popping that up. This paper here also was made. In, I made this in another video. I like made the pattern on my uh, gel plate. So this is pretty cool actually. This is a strip of just basic black cardstock over top. And I just used my circle cutter to cut out circles, black ribbon. Since they're both wearing black, I didn't want to do a whole bunch of colors, but you notice that subtleness of this blue. Then we it's brought out here in these chipboard elements and I just wrote on top of them with a Sharpie. These here, I have to tell you, oh, here's another one. These are just black stickers, black stickers with a shiny, border I guess I had them in my stash I've had them for a long time and um, yeah so we've got the date we've got a nice title horizontal title horizontal ribbons a horizontal band but then the vertical photos and then right here see that vertical line I did that on purpose actually to keep the eye going up and down in like in three ways but also the side to side it's nice it's cohesive I like it I like it a lot actually so nice but now the other layout that we started where we cut and that ominous marshes paper that finished layout is over on my Instagram and so definitely head over there at sandpaper road and check that out on Instagram and um, if you don't have Instagram you can head over to sandpaperroad.com and check out the blog post because I made a blog post also just for those who um, for whatever reason, don't have Instagram. Thank you so much for subscribing also to the YouTube channel. And as a subscriber, you can take advantage of 15% off your next order at sandpaperrow.com. We've got completed scrapbooks, albums, paper collections, just all kinds of little goodies and stuff. And um, you can use coupon code SRYT15. That stands for Sandpaper Road YouTube 15% off. You can just enter that code at checkout and you'll save 15% on your entire cart. So um, <clears throat> thank you for subscribing and take advantage of that coupon code. And thanks so much for watching. Here's a couple more videos you can check out uh, in your free time. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.
This is horrible right here. Look at it. Just look at it. Look what's happening. Now right there is where I wanted, and that's probably right where it was. Now, what's the problem? Nothing. Is this right where it was? <laughs> is it? No, we'll put, I don't want to cover up their shoes. Do I? Oh my God, that's right where it freaking was. Now that is funny. Well, that will be easy to edit, I suppose. <laughs> oh my. So stupid. Now do it right, Erin. Focus. Do it the way you want it. Is this the way you want it? Look up at that stripe and tell yourself whether you want it there. It is right there. It is where we want it. I, I will bet 100% when I watch this back that that's exactly where it was after all that. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs>